I, I believe totally psychopaths are in our world. I mean, I just say, look at you know George Bush as a, as a classic example. I mean, the man was was claiming religious um, religious authority to say that it was okay to kill people in a foreign country, and he, he actually made statements that his god was better than their god. You know, I mean, I'm just I'm just fascinated how somebody like that can be allowed to be in power. To be honest, sorry, Buster. Yes. Uh, I, I'm better than running with, with the masons myself. I've uh, sat in a room like this. I put your space in, in a corner because he was complaining about other people doing things that he himself had done as well. I already knew about it, so I pulled it up. He walked around the room, and I thought he was going out the door. The next thing I know, I had an arm lock around my throat. I'm now down on my knees in front of the chair, but then said, I want to break your effing neck for saying that, you bastard. And I quite just said, let go. I said to three times, let go, otherwise I'll pick you clean up off the floor. Nineteen stone. Alright? He said, you can do F all. I just stood up and said, well, now I'm backing up and I'm going to put you straight through the window behind me. <laughs> Unfortunately, he hit a bunny um, table on the way to the window and I went up facing the window. I've never seen a guy go from <coughs> this monster strong person in my ear to somebody that was a quivering bloody wind and sweat coming off his face and when we got out to go outside and he, he, he was like this all the time Christ, I didn't know you were that strong I said when I was 15 so I was carrying 200 weight upstairs no trouble at all so that was no trouble to me he said you wouldn't have put me through the window I said I had no intention of stopping. You were lucky you hit that table. He respected me for a while after that, but then I had five of them stand up in front of me and say, you're finished. We're going to finish you. I'm still going. I've got my own, and I, the, one I was, the point I'm going to make is, why should we be frightened of 22,000 people in this country? when just by the working man they're outnumbered and willing to work. Is that how many you think at the Freemasons? Well, they are outnumbered and willing to work. Right. Like the odds. They're on my Is, side, not are you saying there's 20,000 Freemasons in the UK? 22. Uh, more about, isn't it? Try a lot more. Uh, not all serving Freemasons. There's a million Freemasons in the UK. Oh, that's not bad. One in 20 males. One in twenty. The figure for this is not. I'm trying to find out how many there are in the states because it's even more prominent in the states. But I looked at the website and they said the Elks, yes, which is not in the Freemasons. It's another sort of like thing that the Elks have one million in the states. So they're just the Elks. They're not the Freemasons. They're nothing. They're like eh, compared to eh, yeah. So there, there are multi-million. Freemasons in the United States, and the whole United States was founded by Freemasons. 52 of the founding fathers that signed the Declaration of Independence were Freemasons. And how independent is a country that's fighting to you know, move away from the, the, the colonial rule of UK, and they, you know, they try to sort of separate themselves, and they go, yes, let's separate ourselves, and 52 Freemasons sign up the Declaration of Independence, and America's been under control ever since. Look at the back of the dollar. It's in your face. Look at Washington, D.C., you know, the way it's designed. It's all there. The whole country is designed around these principles. Matthew, do you believe that all these different lodges are actually fighting amongst themselves for the, for the power? I have no um, knowledge of that. I understand that no, they I all... Mm. I, I know an interesting, I don't know about that, whether or not they're in fighting, uh, but I do know it's quite interesting that there's, a, a, there's lodges in prisons. <laughs> I mean, like taxpayers' money is paying to have Freemasonic lodges in prisons, and the best part is that the prisoners go, and so do the warders. Yeah. 
and they're brothers. So they look after each other because a Freemason can't do anything bad to another Freemason. It's not allowed. So they have to be brotherly and loving to each other. So they're not allowed to attack each other. Now how can you have a warder who's supposed to be in control in Masonic Lodge with somebody he's supposed to be looking after as a prisoner and they're on equal levels as brothers and one isn't allowed to do anything bad to the other. How can that work? The other thing is, Matthew, um, you try to take your relation to court, you always lose. And the reason is, the police have to pick the jury, and they know who the Masons are, so you get a Mason jury. Yeah. So you can't win. And the other thing that happens is, when you start to speak up in court, you are not allowed to make a political speech. Yeah. So you can't bring that subject up because then just immediately hit the gavel, bang, this is a political speech act. So you, could, you can't raise the point. And you can't, no, that's right. Following it in the newspapers, you can read sometimes where somebody's disguised the point about Freemason. I mean, one of them was a chap who went to court with a cast iron case and he couldn't understand how he lost it. But he raised the point, he said, I don't understand how I lost the case. He said that the judge and the jury went out for a meal afterwards to have a celebration. Hmm. Alright? Well, I know... They don't always get away with it, because down in Cornwall, three got killed. And the police admitted that uh, three people got killed that were a high pillars of society. High pillars, yes. Because they went somewhere the wrong way too much. But they have a saying, was it, don't push somebody too far? Uh, I, I'll get it in a minute. I'm getting too old for it now. Mm. Well, they say, like, upstanding members of the community. Upstanding and true is the Freemasonic term. That's where it comes from. You know, there's loads of these bits of language interdispersed, but sometimes they are used to describe Masons in a secret way that other people will kind of recognise if they're in the Freemasons. I, I think this is rather sinister. It's um, something I'm going to try and expose soon. So you heard it here first. Um, I'm going to try and get an investigation done by Wiltshire Police into um, a form of corruption. I think this is a form of corruption. Um, you have people who have these little stickers on the backs of their cars and it's a white sticker with a black rat face on it, okay? What does it mean? Are they into hunting? No, I found out what it means. They are ex-police officers from the driving unit, i.e. people who do speed checks on the motorway and pull you over, speed cops, yeah? So these are speed cops who put these stickers on the backs of their cars, and I was told this by one. Okay? And he said, yeah, we put them on there because we were called the Black Rats. So we put them on our cars so we can identify each other. Why? So they don't pull each other over. And they don't stop each other and give each other grief because they're all part of the little club. Which is, you know, we can speed, but you can't. Even when they're not working as police officers because these badges appear on the family. I've seen three in Avebury. You know the car park in Avebury? Yeah, opposite the post office. Go in there, there's a big American bloody gutsy 30 litre bloody van, yeah? And two cars. And all three, and I think that's bloody disgusting the way they took that car park away from people who want to park there and made you pay to go and park over. That's disgusting, yeah? But guess who gets to park their cars in the Avebury car park now? The Black Rats! The Black Rats! Three of them, right next to each other. And they've got the front space. They're actually the nearest to the road. Yeah? Well, there's two ways this can go. Everybody can start using them. Or it needs to be exposed. It needs to be exposed and investigated because why are police officers trying to identify themselves in cars so that they, you know, can detect each other? Oh, I can answer that one. Yeah. Now the policeman was in London, there was a... The superintendent 